an unholy act caught on camera. A man seen on surveillance video throwing bricks through windows at a South Florida church. But that's not the only house of worship the suspect is accused of targeting. Tonight, church leaders are trying to figure out they are going how they are going to pay for the cleanup. Local 10 crime specialist Bridget Matter is live in Pompano Beach to show us. Bridget. Well, we just got surveillance video from a church where you will see this man throwing bricks repeatedly into that building. He also did it here, according to police. This is some of the damage that's left behind. They boarded this up. The church says they're facing about $4,000 in damage. New surveillance video shows a man throwing bricks repeatedly at a Pompano Beach church. This is at the International Church of the Grace of God. Watch here. A view from inside shows the windows shatter. A police report says three businesses, including two churches off Sample Road and Pompano Beach, were vandalized. Mark Andrew Jones, a pastor at St. Nicholas Episcopal Church in Pompano Beach, showed us damage to the church. The gentleman was able to to push the, the glass away from the frame. It took several strikes to make this kind of damage. Someone threw a heavy object repeatedly at the church windows and doors, causing about $4,000 in damage. This isn't the first time. It happened back in September. We had gotten the letter a couple of weeks ago that he had gotten out and we didn't really think too much about it. Investigators say it's the same suspect, Jehu Cadaville. A September arrest report says Cadaville threw concrete into a glass door of the church. He also hit a bank and another nearby church. Less than 72 hours after his release from jail for that September incident, police say he vandalized this church again. The motive is unknown. I'm asking for a mental health screening order on his behalf. Jones says he doesn't recognize Cadaville either. We don't know why he's vandalized us. Now, after that September vandalism here, this church installed surveillance cameras. They also got hurricane resistant doors and windows to try and help prevent something like this. But the force was just too much to protect from damage. For now, we're live in Pompano Beach. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. Okay.